It's really uh, related to the kind of rock in the area. Limestone. It dissolves with constant water flow and it's the primary bedrock in much of mid-Missouri. That's why sinkholes are common in certain areas around here. The water flows through the rock, causing it to erode and leaving an underground cavern. Eventually, the rock over the top, the roof, if you will, of this cavern gets thinner and thinner and at some point it's so thin that it won't hold itself up and it sinks. That's what happened to this sinkhole in Pulaski County, where 31-year-old Curtis Powelson fell around 70 feet and died while deer hunting Monday night. The process takes thousands of years, but Ethington says it's almost impossible to detect from the surface. The best thing you can do is to be careful if you live in an area susceptible to sinkholes. How can you know? Again, most of it comes down to rocks. Ethington says southern and central mid-Missouri are primarily limestone, but up north it's a little different. Mostly clay or mostly sand, and those don't dissolve. And therefore the probability of getting one of these openings forming is very low up there. So while Ethington says there's not much you can do to detect a sinkhole ahead of time, the likelihood of one opening up under your feet is slim. The probability of that happening, I suggest, is probably less than being struck by lightning during a thunderstorm. Juliet Dreyer, KRCG 13 News, Columbia.